raise them high. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. Hi everyone, I'm Linda with Red Elephant Art Club. Today our art project's been inspired by Dr. Seuss. His birthday is March 2nd, so I thought it would be fun to do a Dr. Seuss project. Okay, so I will get back with you in a minute and tell you all the uh, all the supplies you're going to need, and uh, I'm going to get mine ready. So I'll be right back. Hi everyone. Okay, we're back. Okay, I just want to go over the supplies. We don't need very much today. You just need your paper. You're going to need uh, a black oil pastel for each one of the children. You're going to need a red and black uh, watercolors. And then I the, the, then I'd let the children choose maybe two other colors for their background, and I would suggest something that would contrast with red. Yellow would work, or green, something or or blue, of course. Um, so, but two other colors that would contrast. And see what else we need: paint brushes and some water, and make sure that all the kids have smocks. Okay, we're gonna get started. You gather your supplies, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is find the center of our paper. So just eyeball it, find the center, that right there. We're gonna make his eyes. So just put two big round ovals about two fingers apart, like there. And then you can put, have them put a big dot right in the center, okay? And then his nose is also oval, but it's long ways. So right here in the center, just have them put a nose and then have them color it in. All right. Okay, like that. Okay, now we're gonna make part of his face. So we come up here to about the edge of his eye, about two fingers away, and you're gonna make like a, like a rainbow, make like, just like that to the edge of his eye right there. Okay, that's part of his face. Okay, and it might make it easier if you come over here and you make a squiggly line right off the side like that. And this is part of his smile. You're gonna make a great big round thing going around like this. There we go. And that's his big old smile that he's known for. All right, and now we're gonna make his eyebrows. They kind of are curvy like this. And he has another one like this. Got a couple of wrinkles like cats do. Okay, now we're gonna make his ear and his ears right off of his eyebrows. And they come up, it comes to a point like a cat's ear and then around like that. And then you make one again inside. Okay, and you can kind of color that in. All right. Okay, now we're gonna make his hat and this goes from here to here, so oops. I'm gonna just take this out because I was trying to do that so I wouldn't get my hands dirty, but it's not working. Okay, so from here to here, just make a line or have them draw a line from there to there. And it just goes over here and around. Then we do the same thing over here, go kind of like straight across and around. Now for his hat, his hat kind of curves. So it goes from, from right here to the edge of his head, come right here and have them put their uh, oil pastel right there and then make a curve like this and then you do over here the same thing like that and then we make the stripes on his hat they're big wide stripes and maybe they're two fingers apart from each other we just have them go straight up like that and there is his hat okay now we're going to come over here and we're going to make part of his uh, the rest of the side of his face. So just come over here and we're going to come right down here go like this, but then you're going to go to go jagged like this, like that. And we're going to come over here. He's got kind of a skinny neck. So we're going to go straight down like that. And over here is just a little bit of his lip like this. And it's like that. So we're going to stop right there. Okay. So then we make his bow tie. So make a circle here. And then you're gonna come over here and you go to swip around like that. And we're gonna do another one on the other side. Like this. Then he has 
one like that. And you can put a line here and a line here and one there. Okay, and then you just kind of take it from here. See here's neck is, you come right here, you draw a line here, and then there's the rest of his body. Okay, guys, we've got to put his whiskers on too. So put a few dots, maybe three dots on his cheek on this side, then over here on this side, on the other side of his mouth, put three dots. Then you just take it and you're going to make a whisker from here to here. Just kind of, kind of go like that. So that it kind of comes a little bit more narrow at the end of it, his whisker. Okay. Like that. There we go. All right. Okay. I think one last thing, maybe take from his eye and kind of go like that. Maybe a little bit on the other side too. All right, and I think that is all. Okay, so let's get our paints ready and I will be meet you right back here. Okay, you guys, I chose yellow watercolors. And so remember water colors have more water than they do paint. So I'm just gonna put lay some water down here just to start with. And I'm gonna get some paint and I'm just going to do my background. And it's just gonna go around here and the less water you have, the lighter your paint will be. I'm just going to go around it and paint the all the background. So have your children pick, have them pick out two colors. We're going to paint one on first, and then we're just going to do some designs with the second color. So the very the larger background back here should be a lighter than the one they want to do the accents with for instance, okay? So you wouldn't wanna put down blue and then try to do yellow because I because it's watercolor, I think it wouldn't work very well, okay? So anyway, I'll meet you back. I'm gonna finish mine up and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, I finished my background there. Now I'm gonna add some, I decided to add a little bit of blue. Okay, so I'm just going to add some, do some stripes. So I'm just going to need a little bit of blue, not very much. And just take a flat brush. Just get some blue on my paintbrush. And I'm just going to go like this. Okay. They can make circles. They can do whatever they probably want to do to make something for their background. We just kind of want to mix it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. That's all I have to do for the background. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to paint the hat. Okay, so of course it is red and white. So make sure their paint brushes are nice and clean. And I'm gonna add some red paint here. And I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint my hat. And it's gonna of course be every other stripe. So we don't wanna paint the whole head hat red, do we? We just want to do every other stripe. All right, so I will do this and I will see you back when I'm done. Okay, I finished his hat. Now we have to do is do his big bow tie and that is also red. So we're just going to paint that and we're just going to fill it in pretty easy like that. A little water. And like I said before, the darker you want the bow tie, the less paint you use, the less paint, the less water you use. All right, kind of want this a little bit brighter, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more paint to it and less water. Okay, be back in a minute, I'm almost done. Okay, the very last thing we have to do for this project is add a little bit of his fur, and that is black. So you just get a little bit of black on your paintbrush and you're just going to kind of go like this and you're going to just go back and forth like this. All right. So you can see there's spaces in between. So just the edge, you give them a flat brush like this and you're going to go like this all the way down. Okay. All the way down, even on the this body there. Okay. And you can go back. Just do a little bit more, but you don't want it solid because that's kind of what it's looking like. 
see if you look at the, the hat, the cat in the hat book, see how it's like that? So that's what we're trying to try to also do, okay? So that's what we're doing here. And I think we're just about done. I like it, I do, I like it a lot. Okay guys, final thing. Need to sign our painting. So make sure you guys give us a thumbs up, make a comment down below and share. And please take pictures of, oh, this is not dry yet. Make sure you take pictures of the kids' artwork. I wanna see it so I can post it on our Etsy account. All right, I'm anxious to see all their artwork too. And please enjoy Dr. Seuss. All his, he's got some wonderful fun books. Okay, till next time guys, bye-bye.